gotten quite a few requests to do this video, my top 10 under 10 products. So basically my favorite beauty products that are under $10. Now I'm 99% sure that the products I'm showing you are all under $10. If not, I will make a note below, but um, for the most part, I'm pretty sure they are. My first product, this is actually sort of a new find for me, but is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I have been using this constantly. It really does keep you matte. So I know there are other higher brand uh, products that do the same thing, but I just don't see the point in spending the money when this does the job just as well. And this one is in the 001 transparent shade. They do have some with color, but I tend to gravitate towards transparent powders to set my makeup. The next product is also from Rimmel. This is their Scandalized Waterproof Coal Liner. This is in the color Nude. This is a really good dupe for the Tarte Emphasize and the Smashbox coal liner also so I think this is maybe four or five dollars it also depends on where you live since I am in New York City everything is has a bit more of a markup but I know this is definitely under 10 then we have some lip products this first one is from Revlon it is their color burst series and this is in the shade 002 crystal lilac I really do like this one just for throwing on over a lipstick. It has a bit of shimmer. It's cool baby pink. Um, not too shimmery though, so this is really pretty. And then I also have the NYX Butter Glosses, which are phenomenal. This is in the shade Creme Brulee. It's just a really pretty nude to go over a lipstick as well. You can also wear these on their own. They are quite pigmented by themselves. They don't have the longest staying power, but they smell amazing, and for the price, they can't be beat. For the face, I have this concealer by Maybelline. This is the Dream Lumi Magic Touch Concealer. This is a concealer slash highlighter. It has that pinky undertone. They also do like more of a yellow if you have a yellow underbase, but these are very comparable to the MAC Prep and Prime highlighters, which I think run around 15, I wanna say, and these I think are like seven, so. I'm just gonna do a quick swatch to show you the comparison. Ooh, wow, that was way too much. So pink is really good to use under the eyes to um, cancel out the blue, but here is the Dream Lumi, and then here is the MAC. So this one's a little bit brighter, but they have the same undertone and both work really well. Another product by Maybelline is this Eye Studio Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I don't use liquid eyeliner all that often, but when I do, this is like my go-to. It is the blackest of the black. Although it does tend to dry up, if you just run your blow dryer over it, like heat it up real quick, it works again perfectly. So I love this. This was my one product I wasn't 100% sure on. You can find these at the drugstore, but I'm just not sure if they're under $10. But I cannot live without these. They're always in my bag. They're the Neutrogena Deep Clean Long Lasting Blotting Sheets. and. I just don't know where I would be without these. Although I am dry, I do still get oily in my T-zone. I mean, who doesn't? So these are definitely a thumbs up. And lastly, I have this brush by Real Techniques. Really, this kind of goes for all the Real Techniques brushes because they are very affordable. This just happens to be the, I think it's the contour brush, which is really nice. You can use it for your contour or even a highlight because I, saw, I find sometimes with the fan brushes, you don't have as much control. I use this for my highlight today. And is that everything? Oh, no, I have one more thing. Sally Hansen nail polishes in general, I think are amazing. And you can only, I've only ever found them at the drugstore. Like I go to Dwayne Reed, um, you know, Target or CVS, Walgreens. So this is the color I'm wearing on my nails today. What is it called? Blueberry, Blueberry Blast. And it's a really pretty electric blue. I quite fancy it. But I find Sally Hansen has like the best top coats. They have really nice color selections and they just seem to chip less frequently than other more expensive brands. That's actually only nine. So my final, final product I actually don't have on me, but it is the CoverGirl Out, Outlast or Outblast mascara. I'll just insert a picture here. Um, it comes, I like the one in the orange tube. It just gives such amazing volume and length, and I just feel like you can't go wrong with it. That was my favorite mascara for a very, very long time. I still love it. I just 
kind of dabbled in a couple of other brands. So that concludes my top 10 under 10 current beauty products. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!